In this video, we'll learn about the virtual objects. Now the name itself says, we'll be virtually defining the objects for UFT. Now, why do we need that? We need because UFT sometimes fails to recognize the objects. Suppose there's a calculator button or you can say a calculator application where there are multiple buttons, one to zero. Okay, there are MC, M minus, there's equal to sign, plus sign and so on. So UFT doesn't recognize that. Similarly, if you record a paint application, there are multiple colors on this paint application. UFT fails to recognize that. So what we'll do is first I'll show you what exactly it is the problem when UFT records the calculator application and how we can overcome it by defining the virtual objects. So you can see here, I am on the right now on the startup page. I'll create a blank test named as virtual objects. So you can see here, I'll just right click on this solution untitled, add new test. Name of the test would be virtual objects and I'll click on add. So in this place, first thing is I've opened the calculator application in the taskbar here. Okay, the calculator application. And now what I'll do is I'll just record the same application again. I'll click on this record button, windows application. I've selected the first option, record any windows based application. And then I'll click on okay. So once I click on okay, recording has started and I'll just show you a sample here. If I click S1, see what is the script recorded? Window calculator, that's a window calculator. In that there's a windows button, that's a windows button. And I've selected some button. For example, I've selected one, it said as button. If I click on this two, again it says button two. So it is giving a serial order or not. Let me check. If I click on three, it's giving us button three. I think it is calculating a serial order. But let me try. If I click on this nine, it says button four. So very first thing is it is not selecting buttons in a serial order or it is not giving the names. If I click on this CE, if I click on this plus or minus, if I click on this anywhere, so it is serial wise it is giving the numbers which is, which is actually not acceptable. The reason is if I record and keep it somewhere, some other person, some other automation engineer comes and if he sees the scripts, he will not able to identify okay, which one is button five, which one is button two. So what I need to do is I have to give some meaningful name so the person can easily understand what exactly is this button or what exactly is the script exactly for. So I'll just click on this stop recording. Okay. And uh, I'll first open this calculator. This, Yeah. And now what I'll do is I'll define some virtual objects into my UFT. Okay. So I need to tell UFT this is the names you have to call. Call it as zero, call it as zero or one. So for that, I have to go to this tools and I have to go to this virtual object. Two things are given, define and manage. So I'll say I want to define. So for defining new virtual object, it gives you this dialog box, four steps. Every step it will give you the, it will take you exactly to, to that object. So it says, first I'll click on this next. It says classify which class it belongs to. Is it a class? Is it an object, button, table, list and so on. So I'll say it is a button. I'll click on this next. Where is your button? Okay, since I'm not able to recognize, you tell me where is your button. So I need to mark that object. So if I click here, mark object, and then I can mark this object as, let's say if I select here as zero, so I've selected here as zero. Okay, and then I've clicked on this next, and again I'll click on this next part. Okay, so it says, what is the name of this button? So I'll say name of the button is zero, and uh, it will belong to some collection. All the virtual objects are collected into one collection, VO collection. VO stands for virtual object collections. By default, it is VO zero, VO collection zero. After that, it will ask, do you want to create one more virtual object? I'll say yes, yes. Right now, I want to create three virtual objects. I'll click on next. Again, the same process start from the first. It says, which is your button? It is a button type. Next, mark the object. Make sure you mark the object very, very carefully. I'll just click on this mark object. Now I'll select as, I'll select this MC. So I've selected this object here and I'll give the name. I'll click on next. After that, it will say, this is the parent. Parent is window calculator. And I'll then I'll click on this next part. Name of this part would be as MC. Okay. Do you want to define one more object? Yes. I'll select and then I'll click on next. Button next. Mark the object. Now I'll mark the object after zero. I'll mark this number nine. It's not selected properly. So you can mark the object nine like this. Okay. And then you can click on next. After that, you can just click on next. And finally you see as do not define new virtual object. And then I'll click on, yeah, before that I need to give the name. I'll say as number nine and then click on finish. So what I've done is defined three virtual objects. Where are the virtual objects defined? Where I can see those objects. 
So if you want to see those objects, you can go to this tools, virtual objects, virtual object manager. So you see there's a collection, VO collection, 0, 9 and MC. Three objects are defined here. I'll just click on close. If you want to define a new, you can define, otherwise you can delete or you can close. I'll close it. After defining the virtual objects, what should be done? Now you can start recording again and see whether it is actually applied or not. So I'll just click on this record. And then if you see recording has started here, I'll open the same calculator application and I'll, I'll remember that three things that is MC. So if I click on this MC, now you see the difference. Early it was win, win button, that's windows button. Now it is saying as virtual button. That's given as virtual button. Name of the virtual button is MC. I've also recorded the zero. Okay, so it is coming as proper. Sometimes you might face a problem if you select the area of that button. If it is not selected properly, it will not display the name. Again, there was one more button as nine. So I've selected nine. So all these buttons, whichever I've defined, are being shown as virtual objects and the names are given. If I select as four, so you see button eight. If I select as minus, it says button nine and so on. So that's it. I'll just click on this stop recording. Okay. But after that, if you want to see where are the virtual objects remembered, where are they collected? So for that, you have to go to this object repository. I can go to resources, object repository. Okay. And I'll just show you this, what happened. So if you see, I am on the calculator, that's a test object, which is given and the class is given as window. If I click on this zero, it says the name is zero class is virtual button. Okay. And it is in the local repository. These are the objects x y coordinate width name and height the name is given as zero let me try one more virtual object that is mc so if you see it says class is virtual button and these are the properties five properties and the name is given as mc if i don't use this virtual object if i select any of the virtual object let's say button 2 it says class is win button and the description details are given and the name is also given as button native class as button so this way you can also see what are the different virtual objects present in your repository and accordingly you can work on it, right? So this is the better way I think if you're giving some names, you can identify, you can work on that particular button cell. So I'll just close it, okay? And uh, here you can find out. If you want to still manage all the virtual objects, you can just go to tools, virtual objects, and this is the place virtual object manager. So I hope you're able to understand how to create virtual objects how to manage virtual objects if you want to delete or create a new one. Also, we have seen where do we see all the virtual objects in the repository and what is the difference in the scripts parts. So that's all for this video.